1976 marked the second and final appearance of a talented singer, actress, and songwriter named Kathy Green, who released her second non-consecutive album that year, simply titled Kathy Green. And from that album, the track, And So You Go. Very uh, plaintive so far, but it's going to swell up. Torn apart and caught between, you see your world fall away. Well, so far we know where the lyrics are going. Kind of um, introspective, and uh, I, I think it's going to be a song of hope somehow. You tarry there to catch the pieces and find some reason to stay. Yeah, it's about uh, trying to find meaning. The pieces slip through your fingers like a fading, unfinished dream. Like trying and trying, disappointment, trying to fight against disappointment, trying to find the will to carry forward. And though tender memories linger, what you hold is not what it seems. Being haunted by the past. You know the truth, but you won't believe it. You see what you have, you try to retrieve it. I love it the way how her voice is kind of swelling out in this sort of breathy tone that's coming out in certain words. As you know the truth, but you won't believe it. You see what you have, and you try to retrieve it, but love has gone. You can't pretend you don't know. Oh, I love the way that... You don't know. Yeah, the way that she like stretches out and kind of quivers on on the word no. Yeah, melodramatic pop song. Yeah. You must go. Wow, that was some note. Yeah, I I just love the swelling chorus and and just the vocals that just flare up like that. And so they could have had, um, this was released on Motown, and I swear, if they had put this out as a single, I think they could have had a hit on, on their hands. They, um, it was one of, those, uh, one of those albums with some really good songs on it, but they just didn't choose the right singles. Torn apart. And caught between the image of love disappears. I love that woodwind sound, adding a, a, a bit more nuance on this verse. And as you reach to touch another dream, you're drawn away by your fears. So it's about also uh, like uh, facing uh, continued roadblocks. Amid, amid one's will to, like, overcome. For an autumn leaf in a windstorm Tossed between the future and past Like an autumn leaf in the windstorm. I, I like that metaphor. But because the past is still present You convince yourself it could last But because the past is still present you're convinced, You've convinced yourself it could last So um, things that have happened in the recent past Are still kind of holding you down Haunting you And you, you think that you're, you're not and, and there's a feeling, a present feeling That you're not going to over that that is just gonna define you or something, yeah. You know the truth. Why won't you believe it? You see what you have and you never retrieve it. But love has gone. You can't pretend you don't know. Oh, just all the emotion she's putting into this. Yes, you know the truth. You 
can't pretend you don't know. You'll have to That is some no. And and the way the strings were just like flaring up, kind of perforating and And so you go. Glockenspiel. I really like the chord structure here uh, amid this really swelling, anthemic, like climactic section. Uh, it's like B uh, with like a major seventh and, and, and it's just kind of like uh, dropping, at, rising some, some note within that chord and then taking that same uh, like pattern and then and then shifting the tonic um this herself yeah I'm, I'm i'm very impressed a talented composer and um I, i'm wondering how she, what she wrote it on like what and i i don't um offhand uh let's see what are if i bring up um to give you a bit of background on her she wrote um she did a bit of acting in the late 60s. She um, appeared in Blake Edwards' 1968 film The Party and then dubbed all of Mark Lester's singing voice in Oliver. She signed to Darum and used a line of poetry bestowed on her by close friend Richard Harris as the title for her album Run the Length of Your Wilderness. Yeah, that's a good album too. Um, released in 1969, it was a collaborative effort with orchestra arrangements handled by John Cameron and produced by Wayne Bickerton. Uh, the album produced the single Primrose Hill. Um, in 1971, she recorded the song Marianne, which was played over the opening credits to, to the film Die Screaming Marianne, starring Susan George. And she recorded for Motown in the mid-70s, but stepped away from the music business uh, thereafter. Yeah, um, This came out on the Prodigal sub-label of Motown in 76. And... Um, Let's see, uh, the, uh, on this album, um, as far as instrumental credits go, um, I just, I guess she, um, is responsible for the arrangements on, yeah, the track we just heard, and, oh, she plays keyboards, yeah, so I guess she composed this on keyboard, and, and then, like delegated the different uh, different tasks to different different parts to different um or maybe they yeah I, I i'm just just impressed that uh that someone who didn't really go on to do much afterward could have such such an ear for different uh of 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 what um can, can, could it like hear all these like lavish arrangements in her head and have such a because um it, it, Song tracks songs like this, um, particularly when they're sung by by people who um, who stepped into um, recording via like acting or whatever. Uh, they they tend to be co they tend to be co right. There tends to be much more of a division of labor on the creative end, and yet all these songs are credited directly to her. Let's hear another track from the album, Solo Ride. It's true what you heard today. Yes, you heard him say. Starting out once again, kind of like a well, like a, a Barbara Streisand song from the period, where where you begin really um, 
where, where, where everything is, is, is very subdued at first and, and the voice is just kind of like quivering in a, in a, in a somewhat refined manner and then but we, we know where this is going. He wants to come courting And though he looks to you Like magic I just realized right here, looking at the back cover is quite a bit, is rather erotic for an album, for a, an album back cover of its time. Um, yeah, using uh, a, a water spray can. Yeah, very, um, with, with vocals like that, it's surprising that she just didn't feature on, on a bit more in her, in her prime. It's you on a solo ride. Knows how to hold notes. And no one else can go with you. Can, uh, so uh, th I guess this track is about going out, going on your own romantically, finding your independence. And though my words can be denied, look at your past and see how you've tried. Look at your past and see how you've tried. Uh, that lyric kind of aligns with, with something that we covered in the last song. Take your destiny. was quite a note there. Yeah, take your destiny, uh, no more can you hide. going off in the, in the, like, the clouds here. And you'll be going down alone. You know that it's true. And no one here has any answers for you. What can you do? Yeah, this is uh, like an independence anthem. No one here can live your life for you. these long sustained notes it's just really full too like notice how um for for the the length of time that she holds these these vowels like at, at, at the end of uh, of certain lines that um that her voice remains full and it, it just it, it it never thins out it it just and oh god amid these like sweeping strings this this woman like on on no as a composer, she knew how to just overwhelm with excitement. I mean, because things start out so like plaintive, so subdued, and then it's like it's like the la you thought like the, the last song like flared up and, and just kind of took on like some some elevation that you may not have been expecting in the chorus well this one not only goes there like in the chorus but then it that the whole like tempo the cadence the the flow suddenly just goes off into in well up 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 in the flight let's say at, at full speed <laughs> Came into this world alone. Do you know you'll be going out?
not alone. It's true. And no one here has any answers for you. What can you do? No one lives your life for you. This song, this song really speaks to me as a guy who never married. <sighs> yeah, I uh, just, just so full of passion and. Passion and confidence. Cause you know he'll always remember you. Cause he loves. I wonder, I, I am thinking she was probably influenced by Barbara Streisand. The things you do. And you know. God, I wish every um, song on, on 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 Babs albums from the era, um, and and Babs had some some real like good highlights from this time period, and and had pretty good taste in um, in in songwriters. Actually, I mean Babs made um, I gave uh, Rupert Holmes a boost, um, covered two of the songs from from um, the widescreen album, and and uh, and like took to him almost immediately. It's I, it's too bad. I, I wonder if, 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 probably not, if, if this had come to her attention, like, maybe she could have, like, been kind of a conduit through which, like, uh, like, like this song or the last one could have maybe reached a wider audience. He wants you to get to the end of your journey. He'll be by your side. You'll be by your side. God, the way the strings just swell up and get so kind of full in volume. Ah, uh, that was... Kath Green with Solo Ride, or Kathy Green, yeah, um, from her 1976 self-titled album with, let's see, who plays on this overall? Um, yeah, both these songs are on side uh, B, which she um, arranged herself. Uh, both are solo compositions. Uh, backing vocals by Carolyn Willis. Uh, that's that's one name I recognize off of here. Let's see. Other arrangements on the album are provided by David Shire. So she had she had she had a few like high, high high uh, in, industry hands from high places. Oh, Jeff Porcaro drums. Wow, another another one of many of. You can add you can add this album to the hundred hundreds of reasons to respect um, the late great Jeff Porcaro. Uh, guitar, Jay Graydon and Ray Parker Jr. and Greg Pori appear on here. Um, let's see. Orchestra, uh, Greg Pori also responsible for, let's see, for some orchestration. Um, and, uh, percussion, Bobby Hall, Gary Coleman, uh, yeah, uh, not, uh, a different Gary Coleman, um, Let's see, producer, I guess produced by uh, Frank Wilson. Barry Gordy is credited as the producer on one track, but neither of the ones that I, I played. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, let's see. The two singles were um, from this album, What Kind of Man Are You, which I gave kind of like a light purple to, um, and uh, Love City, which I didn't even um, color code. And so... Yeah, I, uh, these two, uh, the two tracks I just played you remained uh, deep cuts from an album that didn't get much attention. Uh, on a sub-label of Motown, presumably because, uh, in, it, to some, and um, in part because uh, they didn't choose the right singles from the album, in part because maybe the label didn't. Uh, I I don't know. I I I play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things that don't get the attention they deserve, but um, there's only I I I'm only um spotlighting that in this case, because um, this kind of music was commercially viable, you know. In it in its day, but enough of that. Great songs, um, regardless of how many people got to hear them back in their time. And if more people got to hear them, they would have been more popular. I can almost guarantee it. Anyway, for more uh, Rubies and Sapphires from the 1976 Kathy Green album, see the directory of albums from 1976. Currently 1,741 albums strong. And um, such a jam-packed year that the K section of the alphabet on page 9, I believe, in the upper 800s and early 900s is, oh, I'm pretty sure like 50 albums strong. As a matter of fact, it spreads over a page, yeah. Uh, a lot of albums in the K section of the alphabet alone. Yeah, and solo artists are... Um, are alphabetized by their first name because it's just easier on the eye. Um, yes. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard, the arrangements, the layers, the lyrics, and the vocals, and the swelling, rising flare-ups of the choruses and the epic power of it all. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear-traveled Trimaximist, signing off.